So, Daredevil issue number 12 is out, so let's talk about it. In the last issue, Matt got back on his feet and forced the storms to release everyone they've captured from his island. He also caught off like both of his eyes, which is one of my favorite comic panels. This issue starts with Matt going to blind spot his former protege that I believe was introduced in Charles Soul Run, but I guarantee you no one remembers Blind Spot. Blind Spot originally thinks that Matt is the beast, but they both sit down and have a conversation. Blind Spot explains that although the beast was killed, it still lives on in hell. He also explains he was contacted by an old man, and we find out that that old man was indeed Stick. Stick basically told Blind Spot that the beast will come out of this place or this cave that Blind Spot is guarding, called the Siege Inferno. Blind Spot is expected to kill the beast as he becomes accustomed to this new world or like being back on Earth. Matt tells Blind Spot that he'll take the burden and tells him to go home. He says this the nicest way possible and even tells him to find some happiness because that would make Matt happy. Which I do enjoy because Blind Spot has had a rocky history with Daredevil, and that doesn't really make up the stuff that happened to him, but it definitely he's on the way to recovery. At the Blind Spot leads, Matt knows he needs to carry out his plan. The beast has the soul of fog in hell, so his plan is to die near the cave, which is a portal to hell, and he knows if his soul dies near the portal, it'll be dragged to hell. He's about to commit seppuku on himself, but his wife, Electra, stops him. She tries to talk Matt out of it, saying that they'll find another way and that Matt doesn't need to do everything alone because he has a real problem with being a martyr. <laughs> Which is great. It seems like Electra is getting through the Matt, but Matt ultimately tries to kill himself again. They have a little fight, and this might be my favorite fight of a Daredevil comic, at least in a while. The fight has some narration from Matt in which he talks about Electra fighting not the wound, basically hurt, hurtling, like concealing her killing instincts she's had since her childhood. It's interesting, and how her training is impacted because of that. He also discusses his reaction to Electra's choices, like becoming Daredevil, having starting to fist with him. It's and he talks about how much he loves her. It's like a good panel layout with like them fighting and him discussing her as a character. The art release panels like really shine as well. They really go hand in hand together. The fight continues and Electra attempts to wrap Matt up, but it doesn't go to plan. Matt grabs a piece of the line he's trying to wrap him up around and moves her arm around it and moves her arm so one of her sighs plunges through Matt. Matt then dies in Electra's arms, with his last words being, I'm gonna save my best friend. Matt's then woken up by his father with them in a bottom rain. Jack tells his son that he's got a big fight ahead of him, and for this next fight, he needs to fight for someone. Which is like the best advice a bossing dad could ever give him. So, you need to fight for someone for this next fight. Anyway, Jack gives Matt his mask and he dons it, and they both enter the beast realm. And Matt enters the beast realm, his costume is transformed by fire into something, I think he calls it a, something a hand of God would wear, and that's just a badass line. Sorry, excuse my language. And that is where issue number 12 leads off. So, thoughts, first thoughts, I honestly thought this issue was a pretty great one. I wasn't expecting Blind Spot to appear, but I feel like he could have been, or should have been used more in the Chip Zadarsky series. I don't remember him appearing at all during the series, but I could be wrong. He might have appeared like once or twice throughout the series. But that's just a little nitpick or like what I didn't like, I guess. But other than that, I honestly enjoy this issue. I like Matt's father appearing to him and being the one to cheer on Matt before he faces the beast. I like how his costume transforms into something more of a hand of God. I'm pretty sure Matt is what, what he thinks of the suit. The art is pretty great in this series and it makes me realize how much I'm going to miss both Marco Cicchetti, I'm pretty sure that's the name of the artist, and Sadarsky, the writer on the Daredevil series, who's been, they've basically been crafting the story for about like, four years at this point, that's, that's crazy. Well, there's only two more issues to go, and 
then this run is over and then we'll go into Saldan Ahmed being the writer of the Daredevil series. Thanks a lot guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys in the next one.